Hey guys, happy hump day. It's Tara here from TaraAllenHealth.com. And if you saw my post, either what I put above this video or my earlier post telling you what I was gonna be talking about, um, maybe you'll recognize that it was a question that you've asked me at some point because I get some version of this question a lot. Um, and the question is, Tara, what do you eat? So uh, a lot of times I'm talking about what kind of things I have to avoid or I'm including recipes and telling you how my family eats and um, or other times people just hear well then if you don't eat this this and this or if you just try to focus on healthy foods what is it that you actually do eat so today I'm sharing all of that so some of the questions that I've gotten recently over the last couple of weeks are um, am I I've got my notes over here so don't mind my lack of eye contact for a little bit um, am I a vegan am I paleo am I a vegetarian do I eat eggs um, what does plant-based mean? Because I've been doing hashtag plant-based sometimes. Um, I'm assuming that's why I got that question. Do I eat gluten and how often do I eat and what do I eat just in general, I guess. So let me answer some of those questions for you today. Um, so uh, am I vegan? Hey Tiffany, thanks for joining. Um, am I a vegan? No, the answer is no, although I am uh, close to not close enough to vegan where most of my recipes are vegan friendly. So I will um, label them as such. I will do hashtag vegan um, in, on Instagram and sometimes in on Facebook too so that people who are vegan can see those recipes if they are looking for more of those types of recipes. Um, so my story is that I was a vegetarian at the age of eight and um, with no looking back. I mean, like I tell people all the time, if I woke up tomorrow and started craving meat, I would eat meat, no problem. But I just have no interest in it. Um, I don't care if you eat meat, <laughs> it doesn't bother me. Um, and people will be able to attest to that if you know my husband, my husband loves his steak. Um, hey Tiffany, thank you so much for joining. So. Um, I just don't eat meat. It's just not something that I am interested in. Um, but I did used to do dairy and eggs and, and all of that. And then um, it became very apparent after I had my son two plus years ago that I could no longer handle dairy. I had some food sensitivities that cropped up as a result of um, being so sick when I was pregnant. So um, I was barely eating during the pregnancy or barely keeping food down. And so there's a lot of foods out there that we need to have a certain amount of enzymes um, present in order to be able to break them down. Foods that are harder to digest, they tend to be foods that are a little more anti-inflammatory. Um, and those foods I haven't been able to do after having my son. And I'm guessing it's just because it wasn't in my system for a long time. So to go the whole pregnancy and not be able to keep any dairy down means that I didn't need the enzyme to break down the dairy. So this way, when I did reintroduce it, um, it did not agree with me at all. Um, the same went for gluten. So now, let me back up. So now I'm a vegetarian, and now I'm a vegetarian that can't do dairy. So you can see how I'm already kind of closer to that vegan um, realm. Um, but I do eggs and I do honey. So really hardcore vegans won't have honey because um, the bees are involved in making the honey. I will do honey because I'm not doing it for ethical reasons, although there is definitely um, that aspect of me. Like I do think that you should get um, sustainably raised, uh, you know, organic kind of meat and animal products if you do choose to have that and fish. So I'm a vegetarian that will eat eggs and honey. Um, so you can, you know, most of my meals are vegan. Now, all my meals are vegetarian, most of my meals are vegan. Um, I do say plant-based quite often because I believe that the vast majority of us, if not all of us, do best on a plant-based diet, meaning the majority of your food is coming from plants. So plenty, plenty, plenty of vegetables. I think that everyone needs to eat their vegetables. Um, and then if you do choose to add in like a little bit of meat here and there, a little bit of fish, um, that seems to be okay for a lot of people and that seems to even have some health benefits for a lot of people. Um, but I just don't believe that we should be doing that and ignoring you know, all your leafy greens and all your different colorful vegetables. So plant-based to me is just a really healthy way of eating and it also helps you to focus on eating more real foods and unprocessed foods. Um, 
Okay, so what else? What other questions that I have? Do I eat gluten? So no, that that became apparent also after having my son two plus years ago that I cannot tolerate gluten. Um, I may have celiac disease. I'm not sure. A lot of my symptoms are very similar to people who have celiac disease when they consume gluten. But I'm not willing to do the testing to find out because the only way to really find out and get that definitive diagnosis is to actually have a colonoscopy to reintroduce gluten into my diet for six weeks, go for a colonoscopy, and have a doctor tell me that there's so much damage in my colon from the six weeks of gluten that I have celiac disease. And I just cannot bring myself to do that. I feel awful when I just have a tiny bit of gluten. So I can only imagine what it would be like after six weeks. So for me, um, sure, there's that question mark. Am I just gluten in intolerant? gluten sensitive? Do I have celiac disease? There's that question mark, but um, I'd rather have the question mark. I just know that it doesn't agree well with me. Um, I get rashes, I get horrible cramps, um, and I'm actually getting more and more sensitive to it. So I used to be okay. It seemed if there was like a little bit of cross-contamination, and over the past six months or so, I can't even have the cross-contamination. Um, Joni's here. Hey, Joni. Thanks for watching. Um, so that's my story with gluten. So, okay, now I'm a vegetarian that can't do dairy and can't do gluten. Um, so you're kind of getting a, probably a better picture of the way I eat. Um, and people ask me sometimes how often I eat. I eat all the time. <laughs> I like to eat. I love to eat. Um, I do like to honor that window of time overnight where I let my body clean itself out. So typically about a 12-hour stretch overnight where I won't eat so my body can just have a break from digesting and do all the repair it needs, the healing, the muscle growth, all that stuff happens overnight, all the magic happens overnight. But during the day when I am, you know, eating and awake and moving and everything, I do tend to have, I'm also breastfeeding right now, so that affects things, um, but I have, a, I don't know, I eat every couple of hours, so I probably have about three meals and two snacks a day or so. Um, good afternoon, Joni. Um, so that's, you know, so I probably eat about five times a day. And so what kind of things do I eat? Well, for breakfast, a lot of times I will have eggs. Um, I'll do that. I have to have something that's lower glycemic. I have PCOS um, and had prediabetes. I've healed myself of my prediabetes, but I have to be careful about my glycemic load. So um, I do like eggs with spinach. I love things spicy, so I'll put like hot sauce or salsa on top just to add some flavor. I think it's so delicious. Sometimes I will have a smoothie. I'll do, um, you know, like greens and a vegan protein and um, always healthy fat. So I'll add like flax seeds, hemp seeds, or chia seeds in there, some kind of a liquid like water um, and something to sweeten it, but I keep it small. So I'll either do like half a banana or some frozen berries or whatever else we have on hand. Um, I mean, that's just like a real basic one. Sometimes I get a little more creative than that, but that's a, those are two common breakfasts for me. It depends on how much time I have, if I'm trying to run out. Joni says, OMG, I had eggs and spinach with turmeric this morning. Woo, okay, so you like that kick too, Joni. That's awesome. Um, that sounds like really good. We were probably eating that at the same time. So, Okay, what else? Um, some other things that I like to eat, like I do a lot of salads as a base, but I like to get creative with the salad. So I'll have some hot stuff mixed in with the, the cold raw vegetables. So if I have some, um, let's see, like a stir fry left over, I'll throw that on top of a salad. Sometimes in the summer I'll throw fruit in the salad, um, nuts and seeds. Um, Hi, it says, hi, Selena. Tara is amazing. Oh, thank you, Tiffany. I can't see Selena, but maybe she's just watching and you can see her. So, hi, Selena. Um, sorry, guys. I am not the best with this Facebook thing. All I know is that some people I can see when they join and other people I can't. So, I'm guessing it's either um, if I'm friends with them on my friends list, then maybe I can see them, but the other people I just can't see when they join. So, bear with me. Tech is not my thing. Um, so, all right, so that's what I do for, you know, I'll do a lot of salad bases. I love soup. Um, I love quick stir fry. I like really quick things. I like stir fries a lot. Um, I'll even do hot soup in the summer, but I also like to do gazpachos, which is just like cold soup. I do that a lot of times too. Um, for my 
kids and I, if we're going to run out and have kind of like a picnic style lunch, I'll throw together like a bunch of different raw vegetables with some sauces for dipping, maybe throw some seed crackers in there. I love the brand Mary's Gone Crackers. Um, so we take those with us a lot and you know, that's like a good quick snack on the go. Um, and then dinner just totally varies. You see my recipes a lot. And guys, the, the two places that you need to be if you want to make sure you get all my recipes is on my newsletter list, which you can uh, join that at TaraAllenHealth.com and inside my private Facebook group. So that's called Lean In with Tara Allen Health. If you're in those two places, then you're not going to miss a recipe. So make sure you're there. Um... So yeah, so the way I eat in general now, it, it's got to be anti-inflammatory. It's got to have tons of colorful vegetables. I need those micronutrients. Um, I, I can't do something like a detox or a cleanse that includes fasting for too long. My hormones would be too wacky from that. Most women can't handle anything like that. Um, and since my body is healing, I have to be very sensitive to that. So I have to make sure that I'm constantly bringing in all of those vitamins and minerals that I really need. I need to flood my body with that. So I try to think about having a rainbow of colors in my day. So fruits and vegetables, mostly vegetables. It's funny how we say fruits and vegetables. I like to flip it around and say vegetables and fruits so we know what we should focus on. But it should be a rainbow of colors. So think about your rainbow, your red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purples. Um, and everything in between and try to get as many of those colors as you can in a day, in a meal, in a week. Just challenge yourself to try to get more of those colorful vegetables because each different vegetable brings along its own phytonutrients, which just means like plant power. So, um, you know, and they tend to be similar. So the reds tend to have similar properties and the greens tend to have similar properties. Not the same, but similar. So if you can go through the various colors, you're getting a nice variety there. Um, so I also tend to hold on to tons of body fat, having PCOS, um, and I'm breastfeeding. So my body holds on to a bunch of body fat when I'm, I'm breastfeeding too. But with the PCOS, my body is very resistant to dropping fat. And anyone out there with PCOS knows that that is one of the hallmark signs of having PCOS. Um, so I have to just be very careful about what I do. I have to be careful about getting the right amount of exercise. Um, just enough exercise, but not too much where it's going to really overload my cortisol and make me hold on to fat even more. Um, I also ha want to make sure that I feel satisfied, that I feel satiated because I don't do well when I'm super hungry, right? How many people out there get hangry? <laughs> how many people out there, and if you don't admit it, how many people out there, if I ask your spouses or your significant others or your families if you get hangry, maybe they would tell me that you do. So I have to make sure that I don't let myself get hangry. Um, that would not be good for anybody around me. So I need to eat pretty often, and I need to make sure that what I do eat is filling. You know, I don't want to look at my plate and feel like I'm eating three pieces of lettuce and that's it. Um, growing up as a vegetarian, as a kid, people used to always ask me these questions, the same questions that they're asking me now, which is funny, but what do you eat? You're vegetarian? You must eat like a rabbit. And I'm like, no, I eat a lot more than salads. I like really full, big meals. I like to feel really satisfied. Tiffany says, yes. So you get hangry too. So you know what I mean. Um, so I need to, I need to feel satisfied. Um, I need to also not spend all day in the kitchen. I've got two little ones. I've got a four-year-old and a two-year-old and they're active and I've got this active business, which is amazing. Um, and I got to keep myself in shape. Um, so I'm, you know, always here and there and everywhere. And I do love to cook, but it's a very rare occasion that I can get in the kitchen, you know, for hours. So I need to make meals. Um, really work for me. I need to make them quick and easy and I like to cook something once and eat it twice. That's like my favorite thing to do. So I love to make my leftovers work for me whether I have them again for another dinner or if I can have it for lunch another day. I really like to batch cook like that. It also saves money when you do it that way. Um, and Sugar cravings. I need to make sure that I don't go on that sugar craving roller coaster um, because, again, as somebody with PCOS and with a history of prediabetes, you know, that it's very quickly that that can come back to me. So I have to make sure that I don't start craving all those um, refined carbs and the sugar because that can happen very quickly. And I can sit here and tell you right now, 
I can't remember the last time that I had sugar cravings. Like, truthfully, it's been years. Um, and it doesn't mean that I haven't had any, anything sweet in that time. I certainly do because I enjoy it. I think it tastes good. But I don't crave it. Like, I don't say anymore, oh my gosh, I really need a piece of chocolate or I really need something sweet after dinner. I just, I don't have those cravings and it's because of the way that I eat. I eat in a way that keeps my blood sugar really stable throughout the day so I don't have those dips and I don't have those high spikes. Um, so that's how I eat. And if you guys have any more questions or any want to know any more details about that, Feel free to drop it in the comments and I will always come back to it. So even after this video has gone live and you're watching the replay, I will definitely come back and answer your questions if you have any. Um, I have put together this whole way that I'm eating. Um, I have tried out with clients, with friends and family first and then with clients and they've had such great success with it as well that I've put it all together to be available for you guys too. And so this is my 10 day healthy new you reset. Um, I ran it in January, I ran it in March, and we're going to do it again in June, the beginning of June. So registration actually will close out this month. Um, so I'm running it for the third time, and we had some amazing results from the first two times that I ran this. I've got a couple of testimonials up on the page. So you know what, after I'm done with this video, I'm gonna post the link here in the comments. And you can check out the testimonials for yourself, but everybody who has, um, told me how things have gone for them, have lost between four and 18 pounds. Um, they have lost the sugar cravings. That seems to be the most surprising. And I think the most surprising is that people don't take the whole 10 days to lose the sugar cravings. So after like two or three days, I'm getting emails, I'm getting messages, Tara, it's crazy, I'm not craving the sugar anymore. It does happen pretty fast. Um, once you stabilize that blood sugar for a day or two, you will see that you no longer go for those those refined carbs and those sweets, you just don't need them anymore. So I'm running this reset again in June. It's perfect timing if you wanna head into the summer feeling your best, looking your best, and just having tons of energy. I know the end of the school year, um, hustle and bustle is coming up. I know we all have crazy Junes ahead of us. And so it would be nice to have tons of energy and to feel great um, in our bodies. So the reset, um, is normally $67 and right now it's available at the early bird pricing of 57 so I know you guys probably know most detoxes and cleanses and things like that cost a lot more than that um, but mine doesn't so it's not to say that I don't give you tons of value I just feel like I wanted something that's you know really affordable for people um, I don't want the price tag to get in the way of you getting the results that you want I think the most exciting thing about this reset for me anyway is to see how much motivation everyone gets from it because once you start seeing that you're losing the excess weight both in terms of fat and and um, excess water weight from inflammation you're gonna lose both of those so once you see those results coming up, you feel like you're glowing, you feel like you've got tons of energy, um, and you don't have those sugar cravings, it's so motivating that people are, are writing me for weeks afterwards telling me like they went on to lose more weight and now they're just like into gear now. You know, they're all excited for it, they're working out more. There's no working out in this program and yet this will kickstart people to get right back into their fitness routines too. So it's very exciting for me that even though it's a 10 day program and it's a short term thing, that it kind of kickstart this whole health journey for a lot of people. Angela's here, hey Ange. So, um, let me tell you a little bit about what you get with the reset too. So, you know, besides the fact that you get to lose the excess, excess fat and excess water weight and you lose the sugar cravings, hey lady, um, how, how does it actually work? So what happens is you'll sign up, you'll sign up now so that you get the early bird pricing. Don't wait, because that pricing goes up. Um, you'll sign up now, you'll get the early bird pricing, you'll get a little thank you email from me just to let you know that I saw that you registered and I didn't forget about you. And the Thursday before we start, so we start uh, June 4th, it's a Monday, and we go until June 13th, which is a Wednesday. So the Monday before we start, which happens to be May 31st, you will get an email from me with everything that you need. I like you to be able to prepare for an entire weekend if you need to. 
So uh, the Thursday before, you're going to get the Reset Success Guide, which is basically like the manual for the detox. Um, not too much reading, so don't worry, but it gives you all the details about what we're doing, why we're doing it, how it helps your body, what my reasoning is behind eating certain things or avoiding certain things um, with lots of tips. We even go into a little bit of um, like self-care, beauty care, um, all kinds of stuff like that. So that's like your, you know, your Bible for the reset. Um, along with that, you get the meal plan for the 10 days. Um, this is complete meal plan. You get the um, recipes for everything too, and you get the grocery list. So there's no having to go through the recipes and figure out, you know, write down what you want and what you need from the grocery store. So you get the grocery list to be able to just take it to the store or take it to your online delivery um, store and order it, whatever you need to do. So I give that to you on a Thursday morning very early. So you've got either Thursday, Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, whatever you need to do your grocery shopping, get all ready. We start Monday morning. Um, you will have email support from me every single day and support inside my private Facebook community with, um, with additional tips and tricks and things to be expecting. So a lot of times I post something in there like, oh, okay, it's day three. You could expect to be feeling this, 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 and noticing this, this, and this. And people are like, yes, that's me. How did you know? Get out of my head. Well, the reason I know is because I do this too. So when I need to get back on track, I do this reset myself. Um, and you know, it really helps me to just get right back to where I needed to be, boost up those energy levels and feel good again. So Let's see, is there anything else I wanted to tell you? Um, no, I think that's it. If you have any questions about the reset or about the way that I eat or about the way, why I put the reset together the way I did, you know, just drop them here. I would love to answer your questions and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great day, bye.